1v1, then Atomic absolutely has a shot. He's been grinding the playlist, but we get our very first game. It's 3v3 between Optic and G2. Let's see what the green wall's got in store. Can they get to the upper bracket final? You heard the pros talk about it. Everyone's kind of expecting G2 to be that next team. Optic, they're the only ones who believe in themselves, but you're the only one who has to. And one final thing, G2 made it to the playoffs at Worlds. You know, <laughs> yeah. 3v3s. So, so I mean, maybe they were not so, so hot against Optic, but the last month, the, the, their last month has been great so far. So we, we cannot discount that. So let's see here on this game. It is now the ball on Optic's hands. They seem to be going for the bomb, and that's a nice shot by AJ. The bump didn't, I don't think it came through, but still, you know, the fact that someone was trying to get the bump over JNAPS was enough uh, to get the ball, you know, to, to allow for that open net. Yeah, it didn't have to get the bump. You just had to force JNAPS to think about yep. you. You had to force JNAPS to look at you. That's exactly what happened. Reddles opens up the gap there for AJ, who still put a nice shot on net. A good start for Optic. Oh, up high again. again. Yeah. It's going to be a shot from Magic Bear, a little bit too slow. Not enough, not enough power on that one, enough height to get it over to the defender. This is AJ trying to control the ball once again. Reynolds now pushing forward. Atomic from the wall is going to change directions, looking for JNAPS. JNAPS catches the ball, but it's not a good pass for any of his teammates. AJ is going to push it again to the green zone. Pass maybe for AJ. Oh, he misses that one. Reynolds turns back, he hits the ball just enough to keep control of the ball. Wonder if that was intentional Ooh. there from Optic. Doesn't matter as it bounces off the post and too high for G2 to get a rebound. Chicago up in the air, in the area, but not able to get contact. Optic break out. That was a uh, very reminiscent to the shot that we saw from Sen uh, on the 1v1. You know, the, the exact same spot to not get into the net. AJ now looking a little bit stronger on mechanics. He went for two? Yep. <laughs> you know, someone hits a double reset once in RLCS, and then all the mechanical players go, okay, well, now we all have to hit one, too. Uh, this time at Gamers 8, but AJ couldn't connect on the second one. No doubt he will go for that at some point again. It, it is useful, though. I mean, you can think about it like, uh, okay, he's showing off, and that's it. But no, there, there's, there's many ways to make it work, and I mean, if anyone knows how to, it's AJ. MG2. Starting to get more control of the midfield. They see a net. Do they find it? Whoa, what a block from Magic Bear. Oh my gosh. How about that for a save? It's not over though. Chicago puts it in and all that effort goes to waste. Uh, I was just thinking about Dr. Sully. Sully man uh, for that save, you know? <laughs> that I know. Was, that was a great save. But Chicago and company, everyone else, just staying there. JNAPS making the pass for Chicago. And Chicago just being right there to get the, the shot on the net. I mean, the play is not over till it's over, right? If you have a chance to go for the second shot, for the third shot, you got to make it count. And save by itself is good. It's great. I mean, it's impressive. But if you don't get the clear with that save, you know, you're going to keep getting shots in the net. Optic are looking for a clear. Magic Bear didn't get the touch. AJ giving some clearance from Rattles. Rattles ain't done. He's head hunting. Trying to give AJ a little bit of space, but AJ just couldn't quite get control of it. Ran out of boost, had to leave. Weird play. I think uh, JNAPS was waiting for the pass from uh, Chicago and never came to fruition. Now Chicago went, went for the bumps. I mean, G2, yes, they go for the bumps uh, usually, but this time around, I think they're extra heavy on bumps in the pass. Gets, gets to Chicago perfectly. Uh, what happened in the, in the defense? I think Reynolds was... Okay, he was not expecting the second touch from Atomic at all. Now he was expecting a, a 50 from his teammate, so he cuts in so he can follow it up quickly. Yep. But then a great move to get underneath the ball, pop it up over the first defender, and you catch Optic out. That was a wonderful setup and delivery from G2. From Atomic, uh, especially. Uh, yeah. On G2, yeah. The, the setup was excellent. Again, Chicago just waiting for him. AJ for the pass now for Riddles. Good interception. Another attempt, but Chicago is going to get the, the clear towards JNAPS. JNAPS up high. This is good. Magic Bear doesn't have enough control, but Riddles is there to save the day. And Magic Bear there to Ooh. send it downfield. And good goal here for Magic Bear. Uh, maybe there was a chance that one was coming off the post, but he finds the angle, and nobody from G2 is back. The, the save was everything, you know, uh, the, the connection between Reynolds and, and then Magic Bear. I mean, initially, Magic Bear gets the save, and then Reynolds hit it 
just to make sure that the ball gets away. But Magic Bird realizes, okay, so I gotta move forward. I gotta push forward. There's no one else on the Ooh. net, and he gets another one here. Oh, that was so close. Wow, Magic Bear got the MVP honors in their last series. He's uh, doing well so far in game number one. G2, Atomic especially, both plays, helping conduct their offense. JNAP's gonna receive this one. He has had an incredible year. But gonna have to do a little more work here against Optic. JNAP Saga Atomic a little bit up front. Atomic to the corner. There's no one from uh, G2 on that side, so it's gonna be easy for AJ now to carry the ball. Up high, JNAP's trying for the double tap. Okay. Oh, to get it. Oh. There it is! Oh. Atomic got the rebound. And man, Jane has a couple of attempted double taps. They're all getting blocked. But the follow-ups from his teammates have delivered every time. Atomic in position, an easy say, or an easy goal, excuse me. Optic unable to put that ball out. If your shot doesn't go in, but it's awkward enough to not allow a, a good clear, then it's still a good shot. And you know, G2 is banking on that right now. That's why they have the lead with only 35 seconds left here on the clock. It's going to be Magic Bird trying to get the, the last redirect to put it towards the net and tie the match, but it wasn't fruitful. Chicago now can't do it against Reynolds. JNAP's awkward bounce. This Worked is an opportunity out, still. <laughs> he puts that one up high, he might get dunked. But that, that, the touch looked awkward, but you have that attacker up high and it ends up working out for you, but they're yep. still in some trouble. Chicago gets there. Final seconds here, JNAP's looking for the clear. Oh. Magic Bear holds on to with that one. Reynolds going for the for the Whoa. demos, but no, not enough time now on the clock. AJ needs to keep this one up. Reynolds up high. Magic Bird misses that one. It's gonna be Jnaps trying to put it on the ground. He gets close to it, but Reynolds oh. still fighting for the ball. Not gonna quit just yet. Magic Bear with a hit, and this one is gonna touch the ground. No one there to receive it. And G2 wins the 3v3. Pretty game one there. Optic tried a couple of different ways of getting in. You saw Rettles pick up some bumps and demos, but then the control fell apart at the last second. You saw Magic Bear, who was trying to create space at the end and then didn't get the pop that he wanted. He only had like 20 boost. AJ also couldn't find the control he wanted on a, on a play earlier. And it started off so well with that bump or the attempted bump from Rettles. AJ taking the shot. Chicago, though, gets it right back after Jane Abs's uh, attempted double tap. And then that pass from Atomic over to Chicago. I mean, there were some great passes overall from G2, and Optic just didn't have the same kind of force on offense. There's one thing that bothers me a little bit when you're going for demos, because if you're going for a demo for, or a bump, but your teammates are not able to control the ball very well and, and make use of it, then it's pointless, right? Actually, it's worse because you overextend, you don't have boost. And I felt that happened a little bit for for Optic, and you know that's saying something because Optic is a really good bumping uh, team. They, they they can be they can get very physical, but uh, I think that says more for G2 than uh, from Optic. I think they're they're expecting the bumps. They're very aware of those situations, and they have been very careful at avoiding them. Well, my guess is Optic picked the one v one, and they do. AJ did not have the best go against OSM. OSM cleaned house against him. And the one thing for Atomic is if you can for if you can frustrate AJ early and you can prevent him from going to the air, he mm. does see an angle and almost found the net. Atomic looks like he may have had it covered had it been on target. But what a way to start for AJ. No, but by the way, how how do you warm up for once here? That, that's that's my question because you know, going from a 3v3 to a 2v2, I, I don't think it's that hard. But to a 1v1, it's a totally different game. So that's part of the difficulty yeah, of this format, so right? Which is, like, you remember some players talking about it last year that the, the dynamic is just so different. And so you can't really expect the same types of results of the same type of style. Like 1v1 gets gritty on land right after you play a 3v3, to your point. Yeah. Cool. It, it even screams, you know, it's, it's like very awkward. But I mean, but it's something that you got to get used to it. It's, it's part of the thing here. And, and they're, you know, <laughs> they're, they're playing for a very big prize pool, so <laughs> they gotta do their best however they can. AJ misses that one. Luckily, Atomic didn't have enough in the tank to counter and, and get the shot on the net. He's going for the dribble now. Maybe the flick, a fake, but AJ was oh. able to stop it. He tried for the quick no, one. What? He got him. Great job from Atomic. 
leaves it and then goes for the quick shot, knowing AJ's gonna take a little time to recover there. Your best option is to shoot it as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what Atomic does. You take your time, you give AJ a chance to recover, to get back, to make the save. And it's still a slow shot, but he made it work. And I apologize on that one. I thought it was gonna hit the wall for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't win once, you know? <laughs> The depth perception gets you there. <laughs> I understand. It happens to me, too. But Atomic... Trying to catch AJ out here. Nowhere really for AJ to get out. Atomic just going to delete him. Nice demo. AJ spawns underneath. Atomic's just going to say, if you're going to take your time, I'm going to put it over you. Now AJ's got to recover. He's not going to get back. Atomic gets another goal. By the way, Atomic's boost is infinite, you know? He, he did so <laughs> much on that play. He, you know, I, I, that's the moment when he didn't have any, uh, any boost on the attack. But the, other than that, his control was excellent. Just just knowing that AJ had been a demo, how much he had in the tank, how much he could use of his own tank uh, to take advantage and, and still beat AJ was, uh, you know, so so many details going on, right? It's not just okay. So I made AJ get off the of the oh. of the net. It's how I made him get off the net. I think that's the game plan for Atomic. Delete AJ. He's just sat close to the ball, Ooh. and as soon as he turns off, he'll fake the challenge, get the demo, and then he gets control, and he's dominating AJ in the first two minutes. And he's playing slow, calm, collected. You know, it's. It's not about going fast. It's not about going extremely mechanically every single time. He's switching it up every every moment. Okay, the only constant here so far are the demos. Everything else is, is different from Atomic. Oh, AJ gets kicked. He does get the boost. But again, does Atomic need any? Almost prevented the escape, but a good flick from AJ. Now some pressure, but another good touch that's going to force AJ the whole way back. Atomic gets the boost and... AJ gets the boost, but I don't think that's a touch he wanted because now Atomic just rips it and AJ can't save it. The poor touch and he gets punished. And the confidence to go for that shot uh, from Atomic, you know. Okay, so he's not in a good spot. Ah, oh, the, the position, the, the power and the angle and everything else was great. A little bit less powerful than that would have been a save. I think for AJ, just got to protect the ball a little bit more. He wants to play it safely to the midfield, but also doesn't want to keep it too close. Oh, Atomic, wow. please. I, forget me making points. This man's scoring points. <laughs> Look at this one. Perfect pre-flip catch onto the ball. Beautiful landing on the reset. My goodness, my dude. He, he was grinding for real. <laughs> he, I can see the grind. <laughs> he was grinding for real here. Now, it, it, this is what weird. does AJ do here? I mean... Exactly. This is the, the weird part because we you know, have AJ as a very strong 1v1 player, which I still think he is. But um, okay. I wasn't expecting, you know, a 5-1 scoreboard with only two minutes left on the clock. Yeah, I don't know if I expected that either. It was a good landing for AJ, punching it across, and Atomic finally gets punished for how close and how tightly he's been playing AJ. <laughs> Doesn't get the demo that time, <laughs> but he went for it. Yeah. Maybe that's the key. If AJ can just, uh, yeah, that, that seems real smart. Just avoid the demo. Yeah, so easy. Oh, we got the boost. Oh, the little wave dash so he could turn around quickly on the wall. I like that from AJ. You know, 1v1, he can absolutely, this, this game is not so far away. But he definitely wants to get the clock going soon, and that's not the touch he wants. AJ playing a little aggressively, and he's not getting the touches. His touches aren't clean enough against Atomic. Maybe he gets one here, but he's slowly running out of boost and can't catch him out. It was uh, smart from Atomic, yeah. He waited for the right moment. He he faked the defense, yeah. the 50, and then went for the boost. So he, he knew that AJ will take the, the chance, the bait, to go and then attack. And now, still waiting, still waiting. Oh, oh my god! AJ just not methodical enough behind the ball. You're right, he's biting on everything Atomic's, Atomic's sending him. A little touch, go ahead. Flip that ball, and AJ, he's in a tough spot on the wall. Yeah. And flipping out, he's got no chance to recover. And again, Atomic punishes him. And I want to see a heat map of this encounter so far. Do, oh. we, have a, do we have a break? Maybe. Uh, so I want to see a heat map here. So because I feel like we have been playing. I mean, it's it's been three minutes thirty. They've been they've, they've, they're playing so tight. No, but it's like two minutes forty. Atomic and AJ, which currently Atomic is up six-one against AJ and uh, Chamaco.
We uh, were talking about it a little bit before the break, but AJ not really looking like his 1v1 self, but Atomic is locked in. Yeah, I, I said it before. I think people have studied AJ quite a bit for this. Uh, they recognize that he was or is one of the 1v1 powerhouses. And I, I think, you know, both Atomic always, always said, did their homework and decided, you know, okay, so this is how, this is the blueprint, right? To be able to take AJ down. Once you are at the top for so long, you know, people are going to start recognizing you and are going to start studying you, especially when there's uh, such a big baseball as there is uh, involved in this tournament. And Atomic, he has been grinding 1v1. You heard JNAPS talk about it in the interview before this match had started. Atomic has always been uh, a talented player and putting in the work on 1v1, of course, he's going to start looking great. He's jumped AJ a little early. That's the benefit of being up 6-1 with 50 seconds to go. And AJ is struggling to get anything really going. Atomic weaves around him easily here. Gets a read, gets the ball around AJ. And even though it doesn't go to the to the net, I mean, it's still good. He keeps control of the ball now. He gets oh. a demo. And he's, he's wasting as much time as he can, can on the clock because only 30 seconds left here with the lead that he has. That's all he needs. He doesn't need to go for any more shots. Just uh, waste the time, you know, wait for the clock to tick down and, and, you know, call it a game. So, so far, in full control Atomic here in this uh, game, you know, forever, you know, all five minutes uh, have been great, going great for him. And all Atomic all day here in the 1v1. Ooh, nice little wave dash to end the game. Atomic feels it, he knows it. And that's it, a 6-1 statement game here against AJ. G2, one away from taking this in a sweep. Atomic's got it done for the boys. Hopefully the 3v3 is not as easy as the 1v1 was. You know, the, the first one was really contested uh, between these two teams. Uh, it, it was, I mean, I think G2 had the control for most of the of the match, but uh, obviously Optic had their moments uh, on that 1v1, so it is time now to regain. Hopefully AJ is not too down uh, after this loss. Hopefully he had some time, you know, to think about it during the technical break that we had. And hopefully you guys were not waiting for us on the technical break, and, and because there's also B-Stream, right? You could go, have gone there, watch uh, version one against Saw right now, which is a uh, more evenly matched than maybe some people were thinking. Yeah, version one, they rocketed out to a two-game lead, but then Saw, they win that game 3-3v3, three, three three, and now in game four, uh, they're giving them a run for their money right now. It may go to game five. Ooh. Mike Boyd, as we say that, <laughs> just scored a goal over on the B-Stream, so Saw trying to take down version one. We saw Vitality fall earlier to Oxygen in five. Maybe Sa can do the same here with version one, but back over here to G2 versus Oxygen. The rest of this, I'm thinking for Optic, I'm thinking about Magic Bear, Tramaco, yeah. the previous match MVP for Optic. In these next two games, you have to win this 3v3, but then that 2v2, we know how effective Magic Bear was. Now maybe eyes are on him. AJ wasn't able to get it done against Atomic. Is it up to Magic Bear and company here in 3v3? Talking about Magic Bear. Going for the tag, he was uh, trying to get the pass and also the demo uh, at the net. Couldn't get either in the situation. That's a good Ooh. shot on the net. Magic Bear was able to stop it on the nick of time, but was able to get the save. The thing about it, we talked about Atomic's one gr one's grind, right? Well, hang Ooh. on. Ooh, what a save! <laughs> that was a decent shot attempt, but it wasn't in the net. It was right on the goal line, making it possible for the save. Uh, that, that was crazy. Those are the moments where you close your eyes and you're just thinking, okay, let it be, whatever me, it is. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rettles gets in front of it again. He had a couple of bump plays to set up Optic, which has always been Rettles' bread and butter. Now just able to get that ball away. AJ, not a lot of boost, keeps his momentum, and it just goes the other way. Shot just off the bar, saved initially by Magic Bear. AJ was forced to put it up. Still pressure here for JNAP. Puts it across, but just right in between the G2 rotation. And you were talking about Magic Bear. Uh, I think you wanted him to be offensive. He's been amazing on defense so far. Uh, and I, I feel I feel like Optic is very well connected so, uh, so, so far. They, they're they finding each other. They're trying to attack as a group and not only as individuals. So I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from them still. 
G2 as connected as ever. So this is a very even match as we can see on the scoreboard. Think about those passes, those double taps in the first 3v3 from JNAPS that, you know, he didn't score those, but he made them too difficult to clear for Optic. And both of them were put in the net, one by Chicago, one by Atomic. Hmm. That one put up high for Magic Bear. Oh, oh, he came across. He saw the guy flying in. He knew he wanted to put it across. Rettles another chance, just goes for the bump. Flying in, Optic just don't have the follow-up quick enough. Imagine just the shadow of JNAPS is enough to scare people, you know, <laughs> and avoid the, the goal. That was, a, that was a golden opportunity. I don't know if they're going to have a, an opportunity as such, uh, such uh, in the rest of the match, but we shall see now. But it's Atomic pushing forward. Who's going to be there? Nothing was able. No, no one was able to get there on time to get the pass. Magic Berto was towards AJ. AJ, a little bit too precipitated on, on that play, maybe. But Reynolds is still there to give uh, a chance of the ball. Good clear by Chicago. It's Magic Bird waiting on the midfield. Waiting at the moment. He was trying to get for the pass, but JNF was, was able to read it. Magic Bear swung out wide for that corner boost. It didn't end up spawning for him, and now he went the whole way back to his corner, but makes up for it. JNAPS didn't keep control, so he gets away with it, able to clear it back with some space. Oh, a little tie up. Chicago getting bumped out of the way now. Optic hunting on this green half. There's just nothing really working out for them. JNAPS has to let it go with no boost. G2 back on the orange. Chicago can keep it the pressure here. Riddles. Able to go over Chicago. Ball on the midfield. It's Magic Bird. Ah, whoa. That got Wait. way closer than it should have been. I mean, that, that was that was a trivial shot. I, I thought it was a bad shot from Magic Bird, to be honest with you. But Ooh. somehow it worked very well in there. Keeping the pressure now. Chicago was able to get the, the clear towards Dana Ziyaps against one. But the, there's Magic Bird once again. I mean, Magic Bird is doing everything here. We, we can't stop saying his name. We got great in the midfield. And now... Almost getting something set up for his team, but JNAPS not letting them in so easily. And just getting it out. All the G2 working on almost nothing. JNAPS finally gets a big boost. And Magic Bear, not the best landing, but he still gets a shot on target. Just has to retreat now. G2 easily thwart that attack. That's mid up here. Tight game. No one has been able to score so far. And it's not because uh, lack of attempt. So they are actually trying very hard. Just a good defense on both sides. This optic moving forward a little bit. Atomic keeping the ball to himself. One must pass for oh. Chicago. Chicago couldn't connect. That was a that was a play. I mean, that was so uh, so close. It looked it looked dangerous. You saw him in midair. You're like, oh, if he contacts that, that surely is a goal. But no contact for Chicago. 30 seconds left. Optic is their last life in the upper bracket. They're playing like it. They've been stealing boost. They've been trying to get that ball in, but they haven't really controlled the third on G2's half. They haven't been able to pass the ball. They've tried to get a couple of bumps. Hasn't worked out. And that one, almost scary coming off the back wall. Chicago, does he get a clear out? No, it's coming across. There's a pass Ooh, shot. No, you can't miss those. You, you cannot miss those. I mean, the, the, the net was wide open. It was a Reynolds job to hit it and put it on the net uh, to secure the win here. It would have been great for uh, Optics. Now that was close. Magic Bird bringing it back. And JNAPS will keep it high. Okay. Maybe he's maybe going for the pass. Atomic trying to catch it. Oh, oh, so close. Well, both teams leave a goal on the table. So if you think about it, you're even up overtime. Oh, and the fake kickoff from G2. Chicago left it. It was a little broken. JNAPS comes back around. Not a bad idea for G2, but again, it doesn't really work out. Now, here come Optic, going for the bump. Chicago forced them early, Ooh. double just off the bar. Optic trying to come down, but the follow-up isn't there. G2 break out. Atomic has been so good at keeping control, control of the ball. You know, pushing forward, getting the clear, but but it's not a, a booming clear. He He's going for the dribbles. He's going for uh, force 50s that he's going to win. And, and that's been great for uh, G2 to be able to make some offense going on. Not a bad idea on that pass. Atomic just didn't have enough boost to do anything with it. Reynolds, no boost. He's got to let it go. Chicago, quick read. Wants the bump? Maybe. And he did force Optic to stay low on the ground. They don't get a quick clear. Now he stole the boost. He's got a 50. Optic in a little trouble and smart for Reynolds. He can't get the pinch. Chicago's all over him. No, why you burn? Luckily, he has a full tank, but no way. G2's not going to allow it. AJ in an awkward position. He doesn't have that much in the tank, and Riddles helps him a little bit. Chicago catches the ball on the corner, trying to avoid Riddles. Riddles still hits the ball. I mean, not enough. Chicago catches that one. 
Look for the pass, Atomic. Waiting there nice. a little bit too patiently. Magic Bear was almost able to get the clear. Chicago once again with the pass of JNAPS. AJ was able to uh, intercept the ball. Good intercept from AJ. Giving his team time to ooh, ooh. get back into position. Great pass, but the shot's way too weak. And a bouncer to keep it close. Optic. Oh, Rettles, he's got some boost. He sees the net, but G2 close it back down. All of Optic crash on it. And a breakout again. Chicago on the dribble. Looking for the bump. AJ, oh, go, go, no. stop. G2 sweep Optic. You gotta feel bad. You gotta feel so bad. AJ, the 1v1 player. He couldn't get the 1v1 against Atomic, and then the final play is a 1v1 against Chicago, and Chicago is able to score on him as well. The, I mean, I'm sorry, AJ. I'm sorry I made that comment, but it, 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 it's, <laughs> it's gonna feel that way for him. I mean, it's pretty cool to see. That has to feel good for Chicago after you missed that earlier pass that could have sealed yeah. the deal earlier. You get a breakout, you get a 1v1 against AJ. And if you told me, all right, breakout, Chicago's got the ball, AJ on defense, who wins that? I say eight, time, eight times out of 10, AJ finds a way to shake that ball out, but Chicago puts it up high, forces AJ to stay on the ground, and, well, you know what happens after that. Boop. See you later, and the ball's into the net. The nice bump. So, and G2 in the upper bracket, or in the upper bracket final, Chamaco. Yeah, it's basically, basically like a, excuse me, you know? Like a, yeah. Uh, move, move, move out of the way, uh, I'm here. Uh, Chicago just doing that, and yes, G2 now moves forward. Yeah, they're on the, on the finals here. One win away to qualify. For the playoffs, they will have to face off against Oxygen, and Oxygen that I mean, <laughs> if you tell me that match happens today, who you got? I go, I go with Oxygen. Oxygen? <laughs> yes, mm. if it happens today. Yeah, it will not happen today though. Yeah, uh, that match will happen tomorrow. But Optic, tough for them. I really don't know where uh, where the uh, where the path forward for them is. Maybe the desk knows where the path for them is, but they know where G2's sitting. That's in the upper bracket final. Let's throw it to them. That was a good question. You, can you guys say it a little nicer? It's uh, for, for Optic of, I don't know what's next for them. Jarby didn't sound the very lower confident. Bracket. The <laughs> lower bracket. I think that's about the nicest thing you should say. You can't have AJ being outscored 11 to 3 in the, right. two, in the two 1v1s that he's played. He's better than that. Chimaco said he's sorry for the comment, but he's right. Yeah, it's been yeah. disappointing. It's down to performance. Look, I think we got the G2 that uh, everyone was talking about. Even Zen was talking about that, that G2, they are a team that will close out this series with those 3v3s. But then you look at Atomic as well. Mm -hmm. We mentioned that yeah. on the desk a little bit. Atomic.